Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to format row height and column width in Microsoft Excel 2007. I have in front of me a default spreadsheet and the columns are fairly uniform, although they're not all the same width. And the rows are uniform, but we might want to find our, we might find ourselves wanting to change either the height of a given row or the width of a given column. And we'll show you, show you how to do that here. First of all, I'm going to look at the rows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a row and I'm going to right click on it. So we'll take this third row here and I'll right click. And once I do, a context menu comes up. And you'll see that towards the bottom of this context menu, we have an option here for row height. Go ahead and click on that. And when we do, we have this little row height window comes up. And it asks us to type in a value for the row height. Of course, it shows us that the current value is 15, but we can change this to anything that we want. I could, for example, make this much smaller by giving it a row height of 5 and then clicking the OK button. And you'll see now that's actually so small that it's hard to even see that I have a row there. But I can get that back. I can go here and right click on this again and go to row height. And instead of 5, this time I'm going to put 35 and click OK. And now you'll see that not only is it easy to see our row, but it's actually bigger than the other rows to the top or bottom of it. And you can do that even to decimal points. If I go here, click on row height, I can say 35.27, which may be hard to tell any real difference, but it will in fact measure it to that level of precision. There are other ways to change the row height as well that might be a little faster and more convenient for you. One is that you can simply click and drag it. When I scroll over this row here, you'll see that as long as I'm in the body of the row, I have this arrow. But once I get to the top or the bottom edge of this row, my cursor changes. It becomes a horizontal line with these two arrows pointing up and down from it. What this is telling me is that I can click and drag the size of this row to, diff to a different height. So I can click on this and drag it down like this. And what this is actually doing is it's dragging down the size of the height of the row above it. Or I can click and drag on this one here, which will change the height of row three. And now I can make row three much bigger. I can make it much smaller, etc. And of course, any of these changes that I'm making, I can also make an aggregate if I were to select a bunch of rows and right click. I'm going to go to row height, and this time I'm going to put in a value here for 15, and it's going to set all those rows back to a row height of 15. One more option that you have, it's a shorthand method that always kind of puts your row back to a common value, is if I'm here at the bottom, I can just double click this. What that does is it will shrink or expand the row as necessary to accommodate whatever content is inside it. So in other words, here I had taken this row and I made it much larger, but clearly I didn't need a row that, that, that was that height in order to accommodate this data. So when I double clicked on this edge right here between two and three, it ends up shrinking that row down because it shrunk it down to a level that was necessary to accommodate that data. Now let's show you those same concepts here on the columns. I'm going to select a column and again I will right click the column. And when I right click it, now instead of having the row height option, of course it's a little different, now I have column width option. And that, instead of bringing up the row height window, is going to bring up the column width window, and this works in the same way. I can manually give it a number that it will use to change the width of that column. I can say, for example, column width of 30, and now my column is much larger. Or I can say column width of 15, and now it's half the width. I also have the option here, just as I had with my rows, to simply click, click and drag these values. So if I mouse over here, you'll see that my cursor changes to a vertical line with arrows pointing in either direction. And I can left click on this and hold the left click mouse button down and drag it to the right. Or I can drag it to the left and just adjust that on the fly. And just as we could quickly affect the height of the row by double clicking on the bottom of it, on the column, I can quickly change the width of this column by double clicking right here. When I double click, what it does is it shrinks or expands the column as is necessary to accommodate the data that's in that column. 
Let me give you another example of where you'd come and see this. You might start off with a column like this, and you're typing a bunch of text in it. And the text naturally gets cut off because it doesn't have enough space inside this column. So rather than trying to figure out manually what the best width is for the column, a very easy way to accommodate it is simply to go up here and double click. And now it expands as far as is necessary to accommodate the longest piece of data that's in that column. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.